Hey guys, back again with another video for today, and today we're going to be talking about a simple classic bomb drop. How this may work is, what we're going to do is going to grab a ramp, we're going to go a second elevation up, we're going to grab a corrosive cube here, and then place it here, and then we're going to place a warmonger located here. I'm going to push him up a little ahead. Then we're going to, we can either place this here or we can do it here and make it nice and tight to the player. We're going to then bring this far away, place a block here, and then we're going to include a bolt shot. We may want to make this tight, or you can just make it a simple hallway. So let's just do a simple hallway. We could make it tight and make it like this. And bring a ramp here. It's just, just to make it so that the player makes it uh, makes it more difficult for the maneuver. If you have the ability to place certain cross cubes on the sides, I would do that. So that they're less likely to move from their position. Then we might want to be able to place a rapid fire uh, right here and then maybe a double down. Then we're going to include some of these guys. Have this make it a self-destruct that when this goes off this is going to blow up in front of them so the player is less likely to push ahead. And then we can make them both have a blockade. Because it has rapid fire, at least one of the bolts is going to hit them. It's not going to waste the entire thing. It's going to hit this guy. He's going to fall down. We're going to give this guy self-destruct. So that when the player is standing here, this is going to blow up. Now we could, of course, just make this an empty space and move this a little bit one farther away. We don't have to, though. Then, of course... Since we're building it like this, let's clear this for a second. We have to make these opaque. And we make this opaque too. The reason it seems pointless, but here's the idea. If a bomb's falling and it falls here, it's going to cause damage to this location here and a little bit of damage to this location here. And the player can't see where this bomb's located, so they don't know where they should move. So, if we activate it, it's a, it's a very quick, it's a very fast trap. We can have a little bit more fun with this. So a player might be aware that they're, they have to move. So they're going to run around, they're going to go here. And they're going to come back and they're going to likely activate this thing for a second time. Which then we should probably make this a unstable. That seems weird, but like if there's a chance where this thing isn't destroyed at the beginning, then it becomes actually fairly useful. What we can do then, additionally, is we can have... Where is it? I'm trying to think of how it's set up. Then we move this. We move this one degree farther. And I think that should be able to still activate. You'll see what I'm doing in just a second. Of course, all of this is like hidden. But the reason we're doing this is for a certain reason. So let's see if we can activate this. All right, cool, it, that does work. So what we do here is 
this guy is going to be standing right here. He's going to slide down. What we place here is a cube with masquerade. Now, it seems dumb. Why are we including all of this? Well, what we're doing is a double down for this warmonger effect. So what we do is we pop this here. Since this has masquerade, it actually is going to pierce a little bit into this cube and prevent this player, this not player, but this raider from that raider, but a warmonger from going down and then setting up himself again. So as this shows. So the masquerade cube, it stops him from going down. This acts as a, a you know, as I said before, a double down. So we're gonna give this guy dead man switch. And we're gonna test it. Yep, so we got a double down for our arrows over here, and a double down for our system over here. Now you can just leave it as a one, but you can, I know, double a down makes and gives you the additional level of value, and it's it's fairly cheap to set up. All we have to do then is just block this off so the player isn't aware of it, so we could either place a regular block here, or have some kind of corrosive cube. Anyways, that's it for the video. It's a simple, it's a fun little bomb drop. Anyways, thanks for watching.